up just outside of town Got a hundred things to do Children love when I'm around Chase me when I come through Ain't no way you gonna frown This bow makes me look new Make you look like such a clown And steal your key ring too If I'm honking Everybody gonna run Steal a bunch of I'm always having fun Causing havoc Public baddie number one Got a list of mischief Cross it when I'm done It ain't my fault That I'm out here on the loose Gotta blame it on the goose You can't blame me I'm a goose baby It ain't my fault That I'm out here making moves Gonna tie up both your shoes You can't blame me I'm a goose Honk 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 Blame me I'm a goose Blame me blame me Greetings, folks, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and a comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to a new rap battle. This time between The Duck Song and Untitled Goose Game. It's the rap battle of the waterfowl between Eddie FRB and the Stupendium uh, for their Animation vs. Anything channel by Eddie FRB. Uh, so I'm excited to dive into this, but before we do so, if you could please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that feed the algorithm to help get more eyeballs on these videos, I'd really appreciate it. See, I, I do these reactions weekly, I like to pause the video so that I can discuss what's going on in it and not cover up what they're saying with my yammering and laughter, because, you know, it's important to pause it so that we can actually not miss anything. But, all of that said, if you uh, really dig these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get to see these videos early, get my songs early, all sorts of other things like that, get your name in the end credits, etc. But, yes, last week was a bit of a bait-and-switch. was said it was going to be a stupendium reaction, and it ended up being a reaction to one of my own songs. Uh, but, uh, April Fools, ah, uh, some people seem to have an issue with that, but whatever, it's fine. We're moving on. This time we're actually reacting to something by the Stupendium. Uh, Stupendium, having played Untitled Goose Game before in a song with the Goosependium, I think the song is called Duck Duck Goose, and uh, and they, they've they played Goosependium before and are doing it now. I've done an Untitled Goose Game song too. The song that you probably heard in the opening of this is a snippet from a huge seven-minute medley of songs about video games, my fifth in a series. Uh, and uh, that's just only a small portion of what's available in that song, so if you could, please check that video out. Link will be in the description below, as will the link to this video that I'm reacting to be there. Uh, the Duck Song isn't a game at all. The Duck Song is a children's song and book that was based on an insanely old joke. Uh, that like they they've they've kiddified it. They 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 turned it from a duck going into a bar asking for grapes, and the bartender saying he's going to nail his feet to the floor if he comes back again. And he he comes back and says, "Got any nails? No. All right. Well, I got any grapes?" They've changed it for the kids' version. He's going up to a lemonade stand and asking for grapes. And then the 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 guy at the lemonade stand, after several days of this, says, "I'm going to glue you to a tree." And he comes back and says, do you have any glue? And apparently the Duck Song has gone viral since it came out in 2009 and has gone on to be in hundreds of, of memes and things on the internet the way the internet does and had sequels and stuff and animations. And I think they, like, just before this battle came out, they did a IRL version of the Duck Song where somebody is an actual actor standing there playing the lemonade stand guy and then a CGI duck coming in asking questions. It's a whole thing. But, uh, the waterfowl battle now shall begin on, uh, when I hit the button. Here we go. Animation versus anything. I understand it now, because the duck song was an animation and <laughs> the untitled goose game is, is a game with a goose. I understand the animation versus anything now. It took me a minute, but after my whole explanation, 
I get it. Yeah, I paused literally four seconds into the video. I'm sorry. Whatever. A duck walked up to a microphone stand and he said to the goose, run in the stand. Hey, I don't think you'll be much competition for me. I mean, my animator was literally in ERB. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so the person who did the uh, animation for the original Duck song and all the other versions, and the new IRL version, also animated the uh, Lego videos for Epic Rap Battles of History. So uh, that's, that's decent. Actually, I think Epic Rap Battles of History commented on this battle. So that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> nicely done. You see, I'm built to run amok on this inferior schmuck. You wanna fuck with Duck, then sir, you are out of luck. Okay, so uh, clearly not the kitty version anymore. Cool. Uh, you know, I expected as much. But, uh, I, running amok, there's, there's a classic Looney Tunes cartoon called Duck Amok, which is just, uh, the Effie Duck going crazy. I think that's the one... I think that's the one that the animator is messing with Daffy the entire cartoon, and I think they also turned that into a 3DS game, which is brilliant. Um, but, uh, yeah, I... animation, I like. I, it's good. Um, not just for kids, Oscars. Being topical. Uh, also, I like how the song started out sounding like the Duck song and then went into the, the rap battle proper. Uh, you walked up to the stand the way the same original song starts. Good on you for, for going with the continuity flow there. I think you'll be much competition for me. I mean, my animator was literally in ERB. You see, I'm about to run amok on this inferior schmuck. You wanna fuck with Duck? Then, sir, you are out of luck. A decade on the web, and now I'm still going strong. Well, you're only getting bread from grandmas at the pond. Or a month <laughs> I like the animation style on the, the Goose Game stuff because it looks like the game in the, the weird, like, the people don't quite have features on their faces. Um, so it's kind of done in that pseudo-smooth style that the game is animated in. So you can really see the difference between, like, they're not animating the duck game, in, or the goose game, in the way of the duck song, and vice versa. Um, they're, they're the two different styles joining. That's a good attention to detail. A lot of times in in rap battles that are trying to emulate ERB style things, you get a lot of disparity between the two, and you're you're not you're not getting the good cohesion. Like saying that these are clearly from different worlds meeting. Sometimes it's just we could only do one thing, and it's it's that one thing. This is actually showing the two different types. I kind of explained that weird, and I put disparity in the wrong place, but you know what I'm saying. Hunter 2, this indie had a barely trend phase Then his players waddle away till the very next day <laughs> You're playing the original goose game Face to face, aim to wild goose chase Usain Bolt, how I swoop into your roost Wow. That's a uh, interesting line. Usain Bolt, how I swoop into your roost lay. Oh, it's because Usain Bolt, uh, uh, Olympic runner, very fast. Uh, so he's saying he's he's quickly getting into your stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, Untitled Goose Game was hugely memed when the game came out, and then after everybody played it, because it's a short game, it kind of drifted away a little bit. Then they added co-op, and it kind of picked back up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I played the game, I enjoyed the game, I beat the game, I deleted the game. It's fine. It's a good game. I enjoyed it. I, I'm glad I, I bought it and supported indie artists and, and played the game. It was fun. There wasn't really anything to do with it after that, so, you know. But, uh, short verse from Duck Song here, before going into Stoops. Also, to the very next game, playing on the Until the Very Next Day in the Duck Song song. Hey. You're playing the original goose game. Face to face, aim to wild goose chase. You same bolt, how I swoop into your roost lay with your mother till she's laying my goose egg. Ooh, getting a little filthy there. Uh, I like how on every O syllable, the oo syllable, he pitches his voice up. 
uh, they pitch their voice up. So that's that's good stuff there. I, I enjoy that. In the original goose game, face to face, aim to wild goose chase. You say in both how I swoop into your roost Every time. with your mother till she's laid my goose egg. Oh, good heavens. Then the next you stay back to your pond and grabbed your mom's honkers. A little, little more filthy than we're used to Stoops being. A uh, little more, little more innuendo. That's not quite as subtle. Uh, but I do love that the Goose Pendium has the glasses and the sideburns and the stash. That is a nice touch. Bravo. She's my side piece. Now that's my new option hash. Now you've got a batch of new offspring. It's your job, because that's who you ought to ask to view all your tacky new content. I'm the ghost and the fan that I'm taught. Because you don't take silver, you're repping copper. Ooh, that's a, that's a YouTube joke right there. <laughs> the Children's Online Piracy Protection Act. Uh, basically, for those not in the whole uh, inside baseball of uploading videos on YouTube, you have to mark them if they're safe for children or not, uh, and also say whether or not there's children's involved in the videos, because protecting children, obviously, in a lot of online things, because a lot of people are sadly uploading videos that they say are for kids, but they are clearly not, and they are meant to just mess with them and also do horrible things. It's not cool. Uh, but because of that, uh, always take somebody to ruin it for everyone else. Now everybody has to mark uh, their videos as to whether they're self safe for children or not, and uh, have to say whether there are children involved in the video or not. Um, and that's, that's fine. It's good to protect the kids, obviously. But... Uh, you know, that's that's the the difference that this verse is saying is that uh, Goose Untitled Goose Game is for everyone, and yours is strictly just for the kids. That's why you're not even taking silver; you're taking copper, which meaning you're not taking the gold. You're not number one. I'm the gold standard. Already said that. Uh, you're not even taking second place. Not silver. You're taking copper, which is kind of like copper, meaning third place. Or actually, no, bronze would be third place. Copper is not even a placement. I'm over explaining it now. Hooray. I have to know if Stoops wrote this verse or not. That's... That is an interesting bar. She's going down when I pipe her like Flappy Bird. Anybody else remember Flappy Bird? Flappy Bird was a was a uh, at a game app on your phone. I remember it was hugely popular, and then uh, the person who made the game was like, "This has gotten out of hand," and then deleted it off the App Store. And people were selling their cell phones that had it on it, and. I did an article on it when I write, wrote for Destructoid. Like, one of the phones was going for, like, several thousand dollars because it had a Flappy Bird game on it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Make an untitled Goose Game to-do list. Smash the patriarchy. Hells yeah. <laughs> and uh, the duck's mother is on the to-do list. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's <laughs> these are some good bars, I will say. You call this co op, bro, you bump, bump, bump. After that verse, call this battle the swan song. We may be birds, geese, swans. It's good. Of a feather, but I'm unrivaled. I'd say I take names, but you're already untitled. I'm your Ooh. childhood, spanning generations in nostalgia. You're a stock image, you only leave marks when they're with water. Nice! You're a stock image, you only leave marks when they're with water. Obviously, waterfowl, but water marks on an image, on a stock image especially. Getty images always has their, their images watermarked unless you pay for them and whatnot. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, that's a good, that's a good bar. Maybe birds of a feather, but I'm unrivaled. I'd say I take names, but you're already untitled. That's also a great name. Kicking ass and taking names. I take your name, but you're untitled. Really, really solid second verse already. On your childhood, spanning generations and nostalgia. You're a stock image. You only leave marks when they're with water. Everything you have inside and outside your
your data stolen. Body biting off Ghost Simulator doesn't make it go to. Ooh, that's funny. Didn't I react to both? the the goat simulator song and the untitled goose game gong by by game untitled goose game song not gong that's wrong uh by stupendium together in one video i feel like i did because they were similar um yeah untitled goose game kind of similar to to goat sim uh not so much that you're like a crazy physics thing the way that uh, goose goat simulator is but uh, yeah, they're, you're playing as an animal doing a thing. There's a deer simulator now that is kind of like the weird hybrid child of both of those games, so I don't know where I'm going with that anymore. They printed me on paperback and I still made my paperback. That's that's quality. Because the, the author of the Duck song made it as a song first, and it was animated by the, the company that did uh, the, the Lego videos for ERB before they did that. And then the year after it came out, it was released as a book, making it in paperback. Call it a gender reveal, I light you up. Forest Fire 101 being the animation uh, channel that did it. Bring your house house down. House house is the company that made Untitled Goose Game. In that shot, before it pans over to the duck with the matches, the goose is glued to the tree, which is what the lemonade stand vendor threatens to do to the duck. Again, like I've said before in these types of videos, you want the video to enhance what the verses are saying, what the, what the song is saying in a comedy song. And... Uh, you know, you, you want them to enhance the jokes, not detract from the jokes. So having these visuals go along with, with those particular bars is is wonderful synergy. I just wanted to sound smart by using a big word. All right. Well, I do have all day, but you're not worth my time. I take it you on grades, because all you're doing is why. <laughs> That's that's probably my favorite line so far. <laughs> I take it you won, Grames, because all you're doing is wine. <laughs> all day, but you're not worth my time. I take it you won, Grames, because all you're doing is wine. So go back to your fruity little lemonade quest, because I don't mean the groundskeeper when I'm making hose wet. This is a horny goose. And there's, there's just another clip for... For Ian out of context, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah. Horny Goose. Honk, baby. You bump into goose bump and you'll get goose bump, bitch. You suck, you're the end of a middle school lunch. Well, it appears you've been defeated. Let me ring the bell. I'll leave a walkie-talkie here so I can ring your bell. Ooh, so I could ring your bell. Call his mom again. Mm-hmm. Eddie FRB as the duck. Stupendium as the goose. Written and directed by Eddie FRB. Nice fresh bars. Bravo. Mixed and mastered by Freshy Canal, who uh, does the other uh, rap battles. Uh, also dig those. Beat by produced by Freshy and Hasky. Uh, this is uh, this was this was Bravo. Well done. Uh, two different animation crews doing each of the different versions. So that's excellent too. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, bravo to everyone who's involved with this. Uh, comment your ideas for a chance to have them made into a full battle. That is fantastic. Uh, yeah, go, go check out the original video. Link is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed that. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, go show them some love. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you're supposed to do, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Rampant ninja related crimes, White House, not exception. This time need some guys to beat up the slime. Stop all evil ninjas. Ninjas have kidnapped President, are you?